Listen to this. In one hadith, the infallible Imam says, he says, when a person commits a sin, نَكَتَ فِي قَلْبِهِ نُكْتَ A tiny black dot appears on his heart. Not the physical arterial heart, but the spiritual heart. In other words, on your soul, on your spirit. نَكَتَ فِي قَلْبِهِ نُكْتَ One slander here, one ghiba there, one lie here, one word that hurts someone's feeling there. What we commonly refer to, but wrongly refer to as small sins. With each one, you get a tiny black dot on your soul. The problem is these black dots accumulate. Last night I talked about how I think it would be wonderful if someone developed an app to keep track of our sins, right? A counter, a tracker of some kind or another. When they pile up, the Imam says, ultimately there will be so many black dots staining your soul that your heart becomes one black heart. And when that happens, there's no going back. When that happens, listen to the verse in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He warns us about the consequences of sins, the worst repercussion of our wrong, wrongdoings. Allah says, وَكَانَ عَاقِبَةَ الَّذِينَ أَسَاءُوا السُّوءَ أَن كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ أَن كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَكَانُوا بِهَا يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ نَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ Allah says, the ultimate abode of those who continually commit sins is that there will come a point, there will come a stage where they will belie the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They'll get to the stage where they'll say, who says this is what God wants me to do? Who cares about this haram or that wajib? Na'udhu billah. Then, that will quickly be followed by another phase. وَكَانُوا بِهَا يَسْتَهْزُؤُونَ They will make a mockery of religion. They will make a mockery of God's words. Haven't we seen people like that? Why does that happen? How do they get to that stage? You might think to yourself, well, this guy had a good upbringing. He had good parents, a good family. All of his cousins, all of her friends were good. What happened to them? Well, what happened is, the sins get piled up, the dots get accumulated on the heart until eventually it turns into one cold, dark, solid, black heart that can no longer appreciate any of God's words or injunctions. He sat on the chest of Aba Abdullah al Hussein. May God, may God curse Shamir ibn al Jawshan. Imam al Hussein said to him, Do you know? where you are seated right now. Do you know on whose chest you have your feet at this moment? He said, yes, I know. I know who you are. I know that your grandfather is the messenger of God. I know that your father is Ali ibn Abi Talib. I know that your mother is the mistress of all the women of the world. And I know, he said, that you are the best person on the face of the earth. I know all that, and yet, here is my dagger. It'll get to a point where because of all the sins that we've committed, God forbid, God forbid, brothers and sisters, even the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib will be extracted from our hearts. May none of you or your family members or your children or your descendants ever see the day when the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib is separated from our hearts because of our own sins and actions. 